So I haven't done one of these update videos in a while. It's been almost two years since the surgery I had to take the schwannomas um, out of my spine, a type of benign tumor. I'm still trying to figure out how to do so many different things, still having to build up my body. Um, hopefully I have a new phys a physiotherapist that'll help me. Uh, I'm working on right now, trying to build up my stability so I can start doing serious hiking. Um, I want to do some good, nice backcountry hiking, you know, two, three days at first, maybe going up to a week, two weeks camping and just hiking through the backcountry wellness. And um, I can see that being possible in 2024 and onwards. My physical fitness is actually pretty good. Um, and that, that I like. Uh, I feel like I've gotten over a few hurdles so that my cognitive uh, abilities are a bit better. When you have to spend all your time trying to figure out uh, how to move your body and think about every step you take and every movement you take, it gets to be a bit exhausting. And that's what I've been, is exhausted a lot. And I feel like I've gotten beyond that. My VBD, I can't remember how to pronounce it, um, which is separate from the tumor that I had in my spine, continues on. Um, my hearing on the right side is, for all intents and purposes, gone. There's just a ringing in the ear, and I can make out that noise is happening or sound is happening if I listen there. Uh, my right eye has still got a bit of a dead area in the one bottom corner. It doesn't focus as well as it should. Um, my sense of smell is still barely there. Just moments where suddenly, you know, I suddenly occasionally get moments of, and I'm wondering whether the nerve that's being pushed on by the artery in my the uh, base of my cranium is occasionally being liberated or allowed to send signals. So it's still always getting a little bit better, a little bit better, but oh my God, it takes forever. Um, but in general, I'm enjoying my life and I'm enjoying being able to think ahead of my life and think about what am I gonna be doing? in a year, two years, 10 years, 15 years, et cetera. And um, due to death of an old high school friend recently, sort of brought my thinking about my own mortality about, and uh, I use one of the more accurate um, actuarial uh, calculation ones for how long you'll live. And um, it turns out I actually have a fair bit more lifespan going on. All the various testing during, you know, the VBD and uh, the tumor in the spine. Um, so many things have been ruled out as being uh, potential for killing me. So I actually have a fairly significant lifespan. Uh, the they each time I put information in negative, you know, and just sort of played around with um, one or two of these different ones, I come out with something in my early 90s. So it means I've basically got a second adult lifetime ahead of me. And my whole intention is that I'm going to be as fit as I can be to actually make use of all those years. I don't want to be um, infirm um, and, and, and broken down. I want to be as functionally good and being able to do things as long as I can because uh, I have a life I want to live. Anyway, that's a quick update. Um, I hope uh, I hope some of you find it interesting. but. Um, it's a way, this is an easier way for me to update um, a lot of people, just because otherwise it takes so long uh, when you're trying to talk to many different people. Um, this way, it's sort of the same thing that I'd be repeating to people over and over again, I can put out in one video. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you around. Bye.